Today is our last day here at the Chobi Game Lodge. Are you happy or are you sad? I'm happy. Did you have enough time to relax and enjoy? Yes. Now what's next? I'll tell you what's next, my little dingley. Hello, sirs and madams. Meet Kaka here. And it's time for another African adventure with your famous superstar, Salman Khan. Shooting star, the more you know. Just kidding. But he will make a comeback soon. This was our last day at the Chobi Game Lodge where we saw Pumbaa's family grazing the grass. Glad we didn't run into Simba. Our next destination is to see Victoria Falls on the Zimbabwe side. But first we have to cross the border which took a very 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 long time. Damn Mittal! Looks like you grew a second head. Did a giant mosquito give your cheeks a super zitty hickey? I hope we don't get to see that for the whole video. Okay, let's get this video over with. I got better things to do. Well, we went to go use the public restrooms, but they were locked, so we did it back there. Where else are you going to be going here to take public peepees? Uh, as our guide says, we need to check the tire pressure, but there was no tires to pressure. Check. So we're still waiting for everyone else to get their visas to get into the country of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Hour later. Woo, 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 woo. All right, we all got our passports. We got our visas for Zimbabwe. Now we're heading to the car and we're going to Victoria Falls. So we are here officially at Victoria Falls on the Rhodesia side. We're in Zimbabwe. And we are getting ready to do a two mile walk with our raincoats here to go see Victoria Falls. Hopefully we don't get too wet. That's what she said. Aside from that, like I said, we have about a two mile walk. Should take approximately about an hour for us to go through the Victoria Falls on the Zimbabwe side. Starting from this spot here, which is the statue of Dr. Livingstone all the way up to the Victoria Falls Bridge. So this is the bridge that connects Zimbabwe and Zambia. Victoria Falls is a waterfall between the two borders, right? Between the uh, Zimbabwe border here and the Zambian border. And the source of the Victoria Falls is from this big river here, of which I'm sure by now you know the name of the river, Zambezi. Like I said, Zambezi is the fourth largest river in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it runs through six countries, right? So the gentleman here, you wanted to discover or to see where the river starts and where the river uh, ends. And uh, that's when he came to see the Victoria Falls. And then he named them Victoria Falls in honor of Queen Victoria. But uh, the local name uh, we call the uh, Victoria Falls here, they are known as Mosuyo Tunia, right? Mosuyo Tunia, it means the smoke that is. And I'm not sure whether he's the one who discovered the Victoria Falls. What do you think? Local people already knew. Local people already knew about the Victoria Falls, right? So only what he did was when he saw the falls, unlike the local people, he publicized, did marketing so that everyone knows about the Victoria Falls. That's why he's famous. Wow, that was beautiful. Is someone chopping onions in here? Well, I want to end the video off on a good note. So after Victoria Falls, the crew had to drive to the airport so they can catch their flight to South Africa, which is where our next adventures would take place. Thank you for watching. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Come again.